So Henry Cavill still wants to be Superman, and I want him to be Superman too. Will it happen? I don't know. The more time goes by, it seems less likely. I mean, at this point, he should have already completed a Superman trilogy and uh, would be moving on to other roles, like James Bond. <laughs> I think that would be, he would be an excellent uh, choice for the next Bond, provided they let Bond be Bond again. And, uh, uh, you should check out his uh, performance in uh, the Man from Uncle film, which uh, didn't do very well, and I just assumed it wasn't all that good. But then when I saw it, <laughs> well, it's actually quite good. And it's uh, unfortunate it failed. There could have been, you know, more sequels to that, too. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think he could do it very well as uh, Bond. Uh, there was also talk of him uh, possibly being Captain Britain uh, for the MCU. And uh, he gave this interview to uh, The Hollywood Reporter talking about, uh, you know, all these different things. and said he did hear the rumors about that, about people thinking he, he might be up for that role and all of that. Uh, I'd also heard rumors that he was even, there were talks of him being Wolverine. Uh, but I think the Captain Britain one would probably be more likely, if if anything. Um, but uh, the the business of uh, Superman and uh, the Black Superman now. Uh, there's two projects going, uh, the J.J. Abrams one that uh, he's doing uh, on a script written by a racist. Uh, so the better one would be the uh, Michael B. Jordan version, which uh, I guess is going to be a series or a mini series, perhaps for HBO Max on the Val Zod character, and at least with Michael B. Jordan, he actually knows the original black Superman characters <laughs> in DC Comics, unlike, uh, you know, Bad Robot, which knows nothing. So, uh, that would probably be the better one. But his uh, response to it, uh, and, and Cavill is, uh, uh, he's very clever. Uh, and his responses to all of this stuff, <laughs> and able to navigate uh, the uh, mind-filled waters uh, that one would find themselves in the entertainment industry these days. And his response is, it makes sense. Yeah, he says, oh yeah, that would be fine, you know, uh, Black Superman and all that, because he points to the obvious thing of Joaquin Phoenix Joker to do these side pictures like that, to do this idea and that one, uh, a different variation of uh, DC Comics characters uh, and you know who knows I really doubt that J.J. Abrams can pull off a good film about this uh, and uh, it's I have some doubt that it gets off the ground I think uh, the Michael B. Jordan version uh, would probably be better and uh, probably not to his liking that it's happening at all <laughs> <laughs> which gives me hope that Bad Robot's power is waning. Um, so, so it, yeah, it, he's he's right about that. And, of course, DC uh, should have long since uh, embraced their multiverse. They kind of sort of have. I mean, they made a big deal about it with the CW shows and stuff. But there still seems to be uh, some resistance to which characters can be on TV and which characters can be in the films and vice versa and stuff like that. Although lately, there's been uh, quite a bit of it. Um, not all that great, but, you know, at least, you know, they allow for it. Um, so uh, there's still uh, Dwayne Johnson uh, keeps teasing he wants uh, Henry's Superman to be in his Black Adam films and have a Black Adam versus Superman a movie and stuff like that and that might be the only hope Cavill of course wants to continue the narratives set in Man of Steel and he references the death of Zod and uh, that the guilt that could play into Superman and building his character and he's got a point there there's a lot of criticism of Man of Steel for all the destruction in it and stuff he says well so much for Superman he was a bit irresponsible there well, the thing about it is that he's a freshman superhero in that story, and uh, as a result of it, uh, he you know he learns and builds on that, and uh, certainly uh, the uh, you know having to be uh, forced to kill the last survivor of his uh, his race you know uh, uh, besides himself of course uh, Zod, except I'm pretty sure the other 
Kryptonians are still in the Phantom Zone, so there's that. But nevertheless, uh, it, it would impact him uh, greatly. It did so in, in comic book stories. I don't think they would follow uh, that version of the story, but but, but the idea that it, it builds uh, his code and how he acts and what he would do in a sequel. Now, I'd love to see him go up against Brainiac. been wanting to see a Superman versus Brainiac movie all the way back to the Christopher Reeve era. I almost had it, but didn't get it. Uh, and uh, with today's effects and whatnot, I think it would be really, really great. And there's all kind of cool ways you could um, weave that in to the narratives of Snyder's uh, Justice League and everything. Uh, but that would be a, a cool thing to see. As, as far as the other roles, uh, James Bond's the one that I think would, if, if he can't do another Superman, I'd, I'd really like to see that go to him. But under the weird era we're in I, I have no idea what that I mean they seem to have shut the door on the idea of James Bond being a woman um, but uh, then they chase Idris Alba so, you know, so maybe uh, James Bond will ha he can't be white anymore I don't know um, which it it's so superficial and stupid that it ends up insulting the aspects that they think they're uh, promoting, you know, so it would be best to just do a James Bond movie, <laughs> and I think Henry Cavill would be a, an excellent choice uh, going for. There's a, there's others, of course, but um, yeah, that. But it would have been nice to give him a shot at a Superman film that is a full-on Superman film. Um, we never really got to do that. There's aspects of it certainly a man of steel but again that's an origin story basically um and the others you know it's a, a batman film and then a justice league film basically and that's uh, that was about it so yeah it would be cool to see that uh if he does show up in uh, the flash that would be nice if he shows up in uh, with, uh, shazam and black adam films cool but yeah he needs to get his own uh, trilogy with that going on that would be that would be cool but the clock is always ticking and uh, a lot of time has gone by uh, and long before there were lockdowns and stuff that time needlessly wasted on this and uh, there was rumors about oh he's difficult to work with and that would have been the problems and stuff and he comes across as uh, a very sensible, uh, nice. He certainly understands uh, uh, being respectful to fandom. You know, he spoke to that about you got to respect the passion that, that fans have for characters and stories and stuff like that. Uh, much to the chagrin of uh, shield media people <laughs> who just want to attack everybody all the time. Um, and so I, I'm leaning towards anybody who said it was difficult to work with. Maybe the problem was you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's two sides to every story, so uh, maybe that was the deal. Uh, but uh, and at the time, they were saying, hey, he's not that big of a star, and he's acting like he is. Well, he is now. Um, I think he's uh, there's demand for, uh, for Henry. So, uh, yeah, it would be great if he could complete a Superman story and that sort of thing and, and have that uh, up and running. And... Um, but if not, then uh, uh, it, it, Captain Britain, I don't know, maybe, you know, uh, certainly, he, I, I think he's certainly up for these roles, you know, he's got Witcher, uh, Highlander, I think he'll do uh, well in that too, if that happens. Uh, I, 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 Andre over at Midnight's Edge has wanted him to be a Conan in a new Conan uh, franchise, and uh, yeah, that would be pretty damn cool too. Uh, you know, who knows, we'll see. But uh, it would be a great thing to see him uh, be the next James Bond. Uh, but first and foremost, I'd like to see more Superman uh, out of uh, Mr. Cavill. Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends? Yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Joe, on Radio Misfits, 
BitChute.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh my goodness, so many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.